Asking. Because I'm horribly superficial. Well, I get confused for Burt Reynolds all the time. Oh, is that so? Women say that we have a similar musk. Uh-huh. Hey, you ask. Okay, well, that gives me a good start. Now let's see. In my scope, I can only tell you're a white guy wearing shorts. It's hot. And maybe, by the way, I'm not white. It's not very, uh, you know, PC or whatever they say. Oh my god, you are the whitest man. Wow. <laughs> I don't need a spotting scope for that. And if not shorts, then what do you normally like to wear? Clothes. I don't really think about it. Oh, come on. I got a sweatshirt I like, a good jacket I got at the Buckle Barn. Ooh, I love the Buckle Barn. Just one of those brown ones, you know? I do. Now tell me about your face. I'm looking at you across the bar. What do I see? Uh, hmm. A pretty thick beard. Oh. Have you always had a beard? For a while, yeah. All right. Perfect. I want to know about your eyes. Get out of here. I'm drawing you. I need to know. Your what? Is, is that okay? Uh... Don't... don't answer. I'm gonna do it regardless. Fine. Your eyes, tell me. They're, uh, they're steely. Cold, hard stare. Hmm... like a Siberian husky. <laughs> uh, sure. Okay, got it. Thank you, Henry. You get what you need? Absolutely. Oh, and that uh, window is all patched up. So, what should I do now? What's next? What's next? What do you think is next? Well, you've been the one giving me tasks for two days straight. What's next is you sit in that room until September 1st and call me at the first sign of smoke. Oh, yeah. Why don't you let me know when you're mentally prepared for that task and, uh, I'll give it to you. Okay, I think I am ready to tackle my long-term commitment of keeping this national forest safe from total destruction. I am glad to hear you've really thought this through. Of course. We've issued you a comfy chair to sit in and everything. You know, it's not really that comfy. It's wooden and there's no padding. I think I actually got a splinter in my thigh this morning. Aww. Well, regardless, take a seat. The forest depends on you. What is up, my squad? Light as I, your king, welcoming you back to more Let's Play Firewatch. In the last episode, we finally managed to, I guess, deal with those teenagers who had been vandalizing everything, put a stop to their antics, and apparently chased them off. And in this episode, well, it's time to enjoy the summer, just like Delilah said. Hello, Henry. Having a nice afternoon? Not too bad. I could get used to it out here. That's nice. Look, um, I called with bad news. Two young women, Chelsea Stevens and Lily McLean, were reported missing. They've got parents out in California who haven't heard from them in a week. They were supposed to meet an aunt down in Cody. If they're the girls from last week, then you're probably the last person to have seen them. Uh, you should tell whoever that I'm happy to be questioned. Look, it's not going to be an issue. Uh, I mean, if, if they turn up dead, then maybe. Should I just not say anything and save us the trouble? I... I think it's worth mentioning something. Yeah. I'll, uh... I'll keep it vague. I, I really don't want to talk to the cops. Me neither. All right, Henry, thanks. Enjoy the sunset. And yeah, notice how we just kind of skip days after days as we start to make our way through the bulk of this entire experience. I mean, it only makes sense that most of this would be incredibly boring and incredibly quiet, right? That's the job. Henry? Henry, wake up. Get 
get out of bed and pick up the radio. What do you want? Hey, you big dumb idiot. You're a big dumb idiot. Oh, baby, you sound tired. Hmm, I am. Are you having a nice time? Yeah, it's good here. It's beautiful, you know? <sighs> That's great, Henry. Really great. <sighs> well, I'll let you get back to sleep then. <clears throat> okay, Jules. Delilah seems nice. Mm-hmm, sure. Bye, baby. Is it too much of a pain in the ass to bring supplies all the way up to our towers? Well, I get my stuff hand-delivered. Oh, how's that work? It's the perks of a decade of service. You're out hiking in 90-degree heat, and I get to do crosswords. Isn't life miserably unfair? Anyway, when you find a supply drop, remember it's not just for you, okay? Other lookouts, biologists, a few people get their food there, and I don't want to have to call in for more. There should be loads of good stuff, though. Beans, prunes, jerky. You know, my sister eats six prunes a day. Six. She's, like, really precise about it. She'd be great at this job if she didn't need wheelbarrows full of marijuana to function. What, you can't smoke weed while you're a look- I mean, I can kind of see how it would get in the way, but most of the time, wouldn't so, it probably be fine? like, two weeks ago, you called me in the middle of the night. You were sleeping, I guess, and... All I heard was the name Jules through the mumbles. I just thought it was so sweet. I wanted to wake you up, but then I thought maybe you were having a nice conversation and I'd just be spoiling it. Is there anything else you want to tell me about her? Yeah, actually. Look, I wasn't honest with you about her. Well, why not? Because I messed up. She got really early Alzheimer's and I lost her. She's still alive. She's being taken care of back in Australia because that's where she's from. She's... she's there. Oh my god, Henry. And that's it. <sighs> I'm so sorry. Yeah. <sighs> Henry, listen. I, oh my god, I'm so sorry you've gone through that. I, I don't know if you've thought of it this way, but... Her family is taking care of her, and you need to take care of you. Thanks. I'll let you keep hiking. Nope, we're already pretty close, but there's definitely another spot here where I can get a pretty good shot. At least it certainly seems that way. So why don't we do that? Let's keep going. Okay, almost there. It's actually, like, right here, except instead of taking the right path, we are going to want to take the left, and I actually went off the trail for some reason. I don't know why I did that. Over here, and this is the spot. Found the supplies. Oh, good. Uh, enjoy. Uh, thank you. Cool. All right, well, we got food for Two Forks Lookout. We've also got food for other ones in Moss Peak, as well as the Spruce Lookout. I'm not going to be a dick, and I'm just going to take mine. So we can actually walk around if we want to, but I am going to end the day right away. All right, I got everything I need out of here. Time to chow down. Just yours, right? Who do you think I am? And on to day 64. That is quite the leap. We literally just went half a month and then more than a month, all in a matter of just two days. <laughs> That's pretty crazy. But all right. I imagine Henry's been out here. He's Well, he's been out here two months. It's a long time. You've got a front row seat for what might be the biggest fire of the year. Yeah, it's really going. I'm going to call it in. They'll send in a hotshot crew for some suppression, but... I bet we'll be stuck with her for the rest of the summer. And 
she doesn't have a name yet. I usually think of something funny or something practical or a little risque when coming up with them. But why don't you do the honors? Uh, maybe we call it the Flapjack Fire. Can you sell that as a name? You really like that, huh? Yeah, I said I did. It's funny. Fair enough. Flapjack Fire it is. They'll probably ask me if it was a camp cooking accident or something. So there's this creek down the hill, and, um, you know what my favorite thing to do is? What's that? I love to take a bottle of whatever I have on hand, plunge it deep into the water, and let it chill in there all day. And then, on nights like tonight, when it is so disgustingly hot, I have something nice and cool to drink. I learned that from my sister in Santa Fe. She'd do that with a bottle of tequila near her house and make margaritas the size of your head. You'd like it there. I've had one too many bad experiences with tequila. I'm a little reticent to try it again. Well, maybe you just need a new, good experience with it. Uh, yeah, maybe. Are you looking at the fire? Uh, no, I'm not. You should. Let me know when you are. Okay, I'm looking at it again. I love how they look at night. During the day, it's just smoke, but when the sun is down, you can just get lost. Yeah. I'm glad you're here. Me too. Good. I don't talk to the other lookouts as much as I talk to you. Not in the same way. I know it's probably been a while since you've connected with someone the way we have. I don't mean to get all heavy, but it's been really nice. I wish I was over there. I wish you were too. We could sit outside. We could talk without these radios. We could, um, you know. What? What could we do? Well, let me tell you. You're going fishing without a license? It's one fish, and I'm sick of all the stuff I got to eat. Well, I won't tell anyone you're a poacher. That reminds me, I keep hearing reports from Fish and Game about a problem bear they're trying to keep tabs on. Can you search around the lake for fresh tracks and just let me know what you find? There was a crew burning fire lines out to the east, and, um, you know, I think sometimes it riles up the wildlife. Huh. Problem, bear, fuck that. I am of the opinion that they are all problems. Come on, please. Ugh. Can't believe I'm gonna leave this planet as a pile of bear shit. Thank you, Henry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You got it, Delilah. All right, let's have a look. But I, first, I want to get my fish, gosh dang it. Are there any tracks there on the ground, though? We should take a look and see. Okay, so can we actually catch a fish here? Possibly. No? Is it going to let me? How far out in the water can I wade? That's about it. Okay, well, it doesn't look like it's going to let me. Um, all right, well, screw it then. If we're not going to do that, let's look for bear tracks. So if I look around here... Hold on a second. What the... Uh, D, I found a clipboard down here, and I... Uh... There's something strange going on. At the lake? What's up? Someone has written down what we said to each other, have been saying. That doesn't make any sense. Uh, I don't talk to the other lookouts as much as I talk to you, not in the same way. No way. Wait, hold on. Something's out here. worried. You didn't find and eat any mushrooms, did you? I mean, they can be fun, but also, you know, devastating. Regardless, just let me know. <coughs> Henry, 
Are you there? What happened, Henry? I... Holy hell, I just... I got hit in the head. Punched or something by someone. Are you serious? What the hell is going on out there? I don't know. Jesus Christ. <sighs> Let me get this straight. You found a clipboard with... What? Transcripts of our conversations? What else is on it? I don't know. It's gone. Along with a radio of theirs. You know, somebody out here could have just killed me, Delilah. <sighs> I don't... What the fuck is going on? What's Wapiti Station? I I, I... I... I don't know. I saw the name Wapiti Station right before I was cold cocked. Does Wapiti Station mean anything to you? Um... Uh, Wapiti Meadow. Maybe it's Wapiti Meadow. It's, it's on our maps. It's not too far from where you are right now. It's where you saw that damn fence. It's north of the lake. It, it looks like there should be a trail somewhere on the north shore of Jonesy Lake. I'll, uh, I'll start hiking that way now. God damn it, my head. Are you, are you sure you saw what, what you saw, Henry? Maybe you pissed off some more campers and they came back to sucker punch you. Wait, hold on. I want to respond to that. This just... This just seems like a like a misunderstanding or something. Why would I make this up? It's an insane lie at worst, and a shitty prank at best. And you've been feeling okay? I feel fine. Okay. Okay, I'm sorry. I, I believe you, but that conversation was from two weeks ago. I know they were. So what's to say that they don't have transcripts from three, four, or five weeks ago? Our entire relationship. Friendship. Our... Our whole summer. Someone is out here with the walkie-talkie taking notes and talking to God knows who. What do you think is going on behind that fence? <sighs> Apparently a lot of following you around taking notes. Which is unfucking believable Henry. Yeah, you're telling me. Alright, I I'm on my way to Wapiti Meadow. I'll let you know what I find. Okay. There there's got to be a reasonable explanation. Also, I'm going to call around and see if anyone's had anything weird happen to them or seemed spooked. Uh, I don't want to make this bigger than it is yet, you know? Yeah, understood. Yeah, okay. Hike safe. All right, let's take a pause for a moment and read this. Ron, got some bad news back at home, so hopefully they'll let me out here for a while. Who's to say, though? Budgets being what they are. Did you get my note about what went down at Wapiti? Sheriff isn't too pleased with me, but... I don't know. I probably overdid it. Wish you would have been there. I guess you must have got hung up. Dave. P.S. Amigos is Spanish and Professionalis is Italian. <laughs> you know what? Uh, yeah, that is true. Good point. Um, I'm getting the feeling that these two guys are not the brightest. Okay, Wapiti Meadow. There doesn't really seem to be much added here. Whatever. All right, let's, let's, let's keep going. So we need to actually head on up that way, wherever we're supposed to go. Um, let's, well, let, let me make sure here really quickly. Am I going the right way? I think so. Am I going to have to take, uh, this thing down? Probably. All right, let's attach this thing. Because clearly something's messed up. Freaking radio and someone's <laughs> listening to us. That's not good. Possibly listening to us. Okay, let's go. Also, is that Karen? Well, okay. Let's keep going. Uh, <laughs> uh, I don't know why I'm getting so easily distracted. We got ground to cover. We got to get up to Wapiti Meadow somehow. I wonder if... Oh, there's that fence again. Okay, I'm at the fence. I don't see anyone around, but I'm not sure I can get past it. How big is it? Big. It goes off in both directions. Acres. But what the fuck is going on out here? Whatever it is, someone doesn't want anyone to know about it. Sometimes biologists will cordon off a little area to study flora or whatever, but that's only a few square feet, usually. That's not what this is. <sighs> well, see what you can do to get past it. Sure. Uh, let me just, uh... Yeah, there we go. Alright, what do we got? And the gate is locked up, obviously. Obviously. I'll see if I can break in somehow. All right. Be careful. Look, I'm not going to be able to get into this place. Oh, shit. I, I don't know how long I can dick around out here until someone notices. God, 
if you were an actual firefighter, you'd have that gate down in two shakes. Hey, actually, those guys doing the controlled burn, they might be able to help. Where are they? Beyond Ruby River, there's a scout camp. They burned a line a few days ago that should let you hike right to them. Well, that's great. If they haven't left, they're probably the type of guys who would help you get through that fence. Okay, well, let's head that way then. And what we're going to do is we're going to basically go back to Jonesy Lake and sort of loop our way back over. And you'll see once we get to the top, I'll actually show you how this works on the map really quickly. This is kind of a one-way in, one-way out situation, getting into Wapiti Station meadow area. But if you hold up the map here, so go down to the lake, and we're going to go that way. And that's Five Mile Creek, which I do not want to go to. Instead, we're going to basically head all the way back to our lookout and from there make our way down. So this is a lot of walking we have to do today. And again, a lot of ground we need to cover. So let's just follow all the way down and I yeah instead of taking a left here I'm gonna take a right because I do not want to go through that cave it's just gonna take a lot longer to get through there I'm gonna head all the way over this way and actually while we do that we're gonna take a stop over at the medicine wheel along the way that we marked off on our map because I'm actually curious what the heck is that exactly I'd like to see what it is we marked it on our map but we never really actually went and saw it and did anything about it so off we go. And how many shots do I have left in my camera? Eight? Okay, that's pretty good. Still got a few more yet. But off we go this way. There's the remnants of that. I can't believe that freaking the ashes from that old campfire are still sitting there. I think most of that would have blown away by now. Okay, so you can see that there are some branching paths over in different directions. And, oh, hold on. I'm wandering around east of the lake. Which way is Ruby River? It's in the southeast corner of your map. The scout camp where the firefighters were staged should be on your map. It looks like a little triangle with a flat bottom. Yeah, it looks like a tent. How did I never see that before? Oh, yeah, it does. Uh, okay, that way. Yep, so let's keep going. I just want to make sure I don't miss out on taking a look at that. And that's the way to where the girls were at. So let's just keep following this. We're going to have to climb back up this thing. But I would rather do that than hey, make my way through the I cave. With everyone else. Should we call the cops or the forest service and, and let them know this is going on? Um, don't you think that would sound, you know, crazy? Yeah, it is crazy. We have to tell someone. Tell them what, Henry? Tell them we're being stalked and you were attacked and we don't have any proof? I don't know. Tell them we're being bothered or something. Henry, I really like this job, okay? And if I give off even a hint of cuckoo to my bosses, they are never going to let me come back out here. Do you understand that? All right. I'm headed toward the camp anyway. Okay. Keep your radio close to you. Hey, what you just said, keep my radio close to me. Yeah? Before I got attacked back at the lake, I saw a radio on the ground. Kind of like the one I use. And? Do you think that maybe someone was, you know, uh... I don't know. What? Maybe intercepting our frequency with other radios or something. Henry... It's just a thought. I, I don't even know how you would do that. Yeah, well, you sound worried. No, I'm not, okay? Let's not spin out of control. Just keep hiking. Whatever you say, boss. Uh, anyway, not to change the subject or anything, but... Wow, there's an old, um, I think it's called a medicine wheel out here? Yeah, it was made by Crow American Indians hundreds of years ago. There are lots of small ones. Um, have you ever been to Medicine Wheel Monument over in the Bighorns? Well, I sure haven't. Well, it's worth a three-hour detour on the way home in August. Uh, neat. I'll keep it in mind. Okay, good to know. Anyway, Two Forks Fire Lookout still heading this way, so let's just follow that. And then we'll figure out how to get down to Ruby River, which... I know we don't know what's going on yet, but I don't have a good feeling. I don't like feeling vulnerable. It's not like you can just call the police. I was thinking about the good ones. It just struck me that if anything weird like this happened to them, happened to Brian, just how scared he would have been. He had his dad to protect him. Ned, right? Yeah. You don't think he could? No, you're you're probably right. 
It, it was three years ago. He's in high school now. He's on summer break. Yeah, you're right. You're right. That's a good point, Henry. All right, this is the way to go. If we take a look at our map, you'll now notice that we're right here at Ruby River. So let's make our way across this thing. You can just walk through it if you want to. I don't want Henry's shoes to get wet, so I'm going to make my way across like so. But only this one time just to show this off, and then I'm going to probably say screw it because, uh, yeah. Uh, are you going to let me report it? Whoa, the flapjack fire isn't going anywhere, huh? No, that's why those guys came out to burn that line. It's at the stage where all we can do is pay attention to it. They're not going to try to put it out? Not yet, apparently. Okay, we got Jane Eyre by Charlotte Bronte. I love the idea that all of the developers put their... And I have a lending library, that's cute. Uh, that they put all of their favorite books in each of these, uh, just in all the many locations where you find different books. I think that's pretty cool. i put that there. Uh, let's take a look at our note really quickly and have a read. Ron, really wish the powers that could be uh, that be could issue us radios that didn't suck ass. Most of the time, I prefer to keep things pen to paper, but every once in a while, it'd be nice to get a hold of you right away. My sister keeps leaving me messages at the main office, but I don't think she gets that uh, gets that I took the job, so I wouldn't have to deal with her or mom. Been sitting at the spot for a while now, thinking about what to say to her, but I'm a quarter way through a bottle of Fife's instead. Miss ya, Dave. All right, let's take a look at this one really quickly. So, Cottonwood Creek. All right, that's interesting. Um, to the lake and two forks, and there is where we're supposed to go, which is Camp Arapaho. So let's grab that. Mark that off. And ladies and gentlemen, that is going to be it for this episode of Let's Play Firewatch. Thank you all so very much for watching. In the next episode, we're going to try to make our way to the camp where the firefighters are stationed. Maybe they have something that can help us get through that gate, and hopefully we can finally find out what's going on in Wapiti Meadow or Wapiti Station. Thank you all so much for watching, and I will see you all in the next one.